a reading from the Gospel of Luke. Jesus also told them a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully qualified will be like the teacher. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, friend, let me take out the speck in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. Jesus continues in his teaching here on the Sermon on the Plain in the Gospel of Luke. And he's teaching in these little pithy sayings and memorable sayings. He's given us a very memorable visual to take with us uh, that really reinforces a message we hear all throughout Holy Scripture. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Um, do not, you know, rain down judgment on your neighbor when you yourself have things you need to be accountable for. And Jesus is giving us this rather ridiculous image, right? This exaggerated image about worrying about just worrying about getting that speck out of someone else's eye when you've got this log in your own eye. Um, first, get the log out of your eye, then you can attend to the minutia of somebody else's life. So Jesus is reminding us and giving us a helpful visual image, uh, especially in this day and age, I will say, of social media, where there's just so much easy judgment being cast back and forth. Something happens, and whether it's in the news, the, the sort of the customary channels, or through social media, there's, there's such a rush to judgment and such a, a, a harsh a harshness and a lack of curiosity and a lack of humility in the ways in which we speak about other people and their shortcomings, their shortfallings, which is not to say we should not call to account those who we think we look and say, hey, what you're doing is a problem. It should definitely be something that we can, we don't have to have perfect lives before we can ask for accountability from others. But today's parable from Jesus reminds us to be humble about it, to have a humility, and to not, uh, especially not get into micromanaging tiny little details in the lives of others um, when we ourselves might have some major impediments to our own sight. I mean, this this thing about the, the logs and specks in the eye comes right after Jesus asking the question, posing the question, can the blind lead the blind? And really, there's a bit of... Um, a hint there that that's what Jesus thinks of all of us. We're all, we're all blind. We're all walking around with impaired vision in some way. And so of course, in his broader teaching, what we know is that we ask um, Christ to bring us into his vision. We ask God to give us God's vision of the world, God's vision of ourselves, God's vision of um, a kingdom in which all people dwell with God in peace and in unity and reconciliation. It is God's vision to which we attain and aspire. And for anything that gets in our way, whether it's a speck or a log, uh, Jesus says, get your own house in order before you start trying to micromanage everybody else. So that's a pretty clear message and one um, definitely worth remembering in our own lives as we as we look about us and our temp might be tempted to want to direct our energy towards um, towards the perfection of others, that Jesus really encourages us to turn our vision and our sight. And if we feel we're blind to our own, our own uh, reality, ask others, ask God in prayer, in prayers of confession and absolution, asking our, our friends and neighbors to be an honest conversation and to be curious about where are the places we ourselves might be blind. So may God be with you as you um, sort of try to find your own impediments to your vision. And may God be merciful and generous in helping you to see more clearly, most especially how it is that God loves you, how it is that God loves this world and each and every person in it. May we have clear vision to help God's vision come into being in our own lives. May God be with you this day. May God bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen.